What's up guys, it's Nick from That Student Life Australia and today we're going to look at how to memorise stuff fast. Stay tuned. Alright, so this video is going to be all about how to memorise your notes fast and your essays really fast. So, what I thought we'd start with uh, talking about is how you actually memorise something, how the pro what the process is from reading something to actually storing it in your mind. Okay. Let's get sciencey for a second. When you memorize something, you actually change the structure of neurons inside of your brain. So it's a physical thing that's happening in order for you to memorize something. So let's delve into that process a little bit. So, a very simplified model of how your brain works and how it memorizes things, I'm going to show using these pens, um, which are intended to represent synapses. Now, your brain communicates to other neurons uh, through the, these things called synapses and basically one synapse will pass on an electrical message. So the way that you memorize something is by the strengthening, ooh, I'm out of focus, is by the strengthening of these pathways. So if you can imagine before you've memorized something, they're kind of a little bit askew and not fully connected yet, but the process of memorizing something is the strengthening of these pathways. Uh, let's delve a little bit into how to actually memorize something. Okay, so let's have a look at what some popular memory methods are. So, namely, there are three popular ways for memorizing something, and that is by just simply, whoop, move this out of the way, by reading about it, by listening to something about it, or by watching something about it. Now, to delve back into the science um, and sort of what the focus of, of this video really is, and that's how our brain works, uh, our brain uses all three of these these parts of the brain to actually memorize something. So it would make sense to do all three of those things in the process of memorizing. Um, it's a very common mistake to just watch something about it, to just listen to something about it, um, or to just read something about it. So the foolproof method uh, that I've come up with is to do all three of these things. So how important is this guy right here? Reading. This guy is very important. I would say it is the most important rule in memorizing something. So it's important that you have a very, very good look over your notes um, and and read the read your notes again and again and again and and just strengthen those uh, those neural pathways like that that we talked about before. Um, it's just going to really drive home what you need to know. Listening, listening. So. The reason why we look at listening uh, as well as reading in the same kind of video slide here uh, is that often I would read my notes and I would record myself saying my notes and then listen to it. This way I was using a few different parts of my brain and I was still essentially doing the same thing so it was a really fast way to memorize something. Let's get these two guys out of the way and we want to talk about watching, th oh dear, watching things now. Now, this is usually the first step that I go for. Um, I usually watch something uh, on the topic that I'm learning about um, just to kind of front load the information. What I mean by front loading is just to simply get a good idea of it before I fully have to have to delve into it in detail. So I'd watch something about it and then I would read my notes and then I would follow up by listening to myself reading my own notes. Um, and this was kind of the method that I used to memorize stuff. So, what is the checklist for memorizing something? The checklist for memorizing something consists of three very important and specific steps. Step number one, you have a summarized version of your notes or a textbook or, or a something that you have to memorize. You read through that once. You stop, you have a break for about 10 or 15 minutes and then you do that exact step again. So you read it again. Uh, so this way you've read your notes twice. You then have another bit of a break, do something else. You've got to break these things up so you don't get so bogged down in it. You then want to memorize uh, these notes by recording uh, or, or listening to something. So you want to record yourself saying your notes um, or saying a summarized, uh, shortened version of your notes, uh, mainly just the important points. And then you can go about doing other things like go for a run, do some something that doesn't involve sitting in a desk by listening to these notes. Once you've done this a few times, because listening is not as hard as reading, um, you want to go ahead and read your notes once more. And this way you should have 
be able to read back through the notes and almost know what's coming next. It's not like you're reading the page for the first time. You should be just kind of reading along with the notes, floating over them. If there is something in your notes that you have copied down and you have no idea what it is, you have no idea how it got there, go onto the internet, go onto YouTube. There is a pretty good chance that someone has explained it uh, on YouTube before and that is exactly what my go-to is when I don't know something. So. We want to follow this kind of flow chart, um, which I might illustrate. So this is the flow chart that I would be following. Um, first of all, you want to read your notes, and then you want to have a bit of a break, and then read your notes once again, really consolidate that knowledge. You then want to have a bit of a break, record yourself um, saying uh, the important points of your notes, and then you want to check if there's anything that you don't understand in your notes. If there is things that you've taken down that you don't understand, you want to Google the answer, you want to YouTube the answer, or you want to consolidate with your textbook. If this is the case, then you want to start this process all over again now that you understand it all. If you don't have any problems or you've done this process once, uh, then you want to go back and read your notes again. And that last time that you read your notes, it should be really easy. It should be like, I know what's coming, like, you know, you should be totally on top of it. And I guarantee you, if you're studying for the HSC, if you're studying for uni exams, if you get up every morning and you go through this process, you set an hour aside, you will be guaranteed to memorize what you need to know. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one.